Hey everybody, it's Daddy142014 PG, and today we're going to be taking a look at Content Manager Assistant. Remember to like, subscribe if you're not already, leave comments below, and uh, let's get to it. So we have the Content Manager Assistant, and what do we want to do today? I want to transfer my information from one PS Vita memory card to another. So in this case, it's going to be a 4 gig card, which is inside of my PS Vita. Uh, over to an 8 gig card. Now I won't be able to show the card, I can show the card briefly here, but you probably won't see that it's an 8 gig uh, simply because the focus with the backlighting here is not going to do really well. But uh, you can see the case there, so it definitely is an 8 gig card. Uh, the things that you will need in order to achieve this, just give me a second to put in my password here. Uh, things you will need to achieve this. You will need a PS Vita, obviously your memory card uh, in the Vita, which you can possibly see that there. Uh, you can't because it's so dark, but there's a 4 gig memory card in there. Uh, so you'll need the PS Vita, you'll need your new card, uh, I've already shown you guys that there, and you'll need your transfer cable. Uh, for some of you are wondering what that is, it's the component that plugs into that brick, it has a USB on one end, on the other end it is the part that charges to your PS Vita. Uh, what you'll be doing, uh, you'll also need some software, you'll need a computer, a PC, or Mac, and you'll need to go to the website that I have here, and I will make sure that I put this in the link for you guys in case you haven't downloaded it, and you'll need to download your version of Content Manager Assistant for PlayStation Vita. You'll notice that it does give you options, it says download the latest Windows version, or click here to download the Mac OS. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, let me try and focus it in for you guys. So there definitely is a Mac version and a P uh, sorry, PC version. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and get to it and show you how to get this done. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your USB and you're going to plug that into your USB port on your computer. And then you're going to plug the other portion into your PS Vita itself. Now I've obviously already gone ahead and switched the data over from the 4 gig to the 8 gig card. Uh, but that was more for time constraint because it does take a little bit of time. I'll still go through the process with you guys. It is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and uh, power on my PS Vita. Once you've downloaded this application from the website, the content manager, uh, when you run it, if you're running a Mac, you can go into your launch pad and you'll see that the contest assistant is there. Uh, then you can close that down, and once you run it, you'll see it's running up here in this bar notification. I'm not quite sure how it works for the PC version, simply because obviously I run a Mac platform. Now, very important to keep in mind when you do this is that your home screen layout will be lost, but you'll still have the applications that you need, um, and also you'll be asked to re-sign into your PSN account um, when you go into the actual store itself. Uh, so those are two very critical factors that you need to be aware of. Uh, in case that you know deters you from doing it. So I have the 4 gig card in here. All you're going to do is you're going to have to obviously download the application as well on your PS Vita. You can find it in the PSN Store Content Manager. Uh, I, might, I might even believe, I'm not actually quite sure, but I believe it might be uh, preloaded. But don't quote me on that because, again, it's so long ago that I opened this out of the box to remember what was installed on it. Uh, so once you open up the Content Manager here, um, you'll see the option to back up. Um, also copy content. Now if you want to copy content you can do that. So you go PS Vita uh, to PC and this will give you, you go to say for example applications uh, the ability to choose the applications that you want. So say for example you don't want to carry them all over but you want to carry some of them and obviously you know this is your game data saves as well. So say I don't want to you know carry over Reality Fighters but I just want Uncharted Golden Abyss I can do that and then once you select it by touching that there uh, you can just hit copy and it will do that. Again I'm not going to do that as I've already done this. Uh, but the easier way to transfer all your information from one SD card to the next is simply just under this backup utility, you'll just hit backup. Uh, it will say to you, uh, there's trophy information that has not been synced to the service. The server, so obviously you want to make sure um, that you're going to do that first because trophy information cannot be backed up. Um, and then you'll just hit next and it will say the system will close the applications. You'll hit yes. And it will show you the file size on your current memory card. And then you just go ahead and hit the backup button. And you'll see that it's connecting the, uh, or sorry, establishing the connection. And then it will start this here bar. And it will take approximately about 17 minutes, I believe, or so. Now, again, I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done this. And uh, once that's done and you finish the backup uh, on of your uh, information from your memory card to your PC or Mac, what you're going to go ahead and do close on the application and this is very important as well because if you just try and pull out your memory card abruptly you can actually corrupt some of the data so you want to go ahead and you want to power off the system once it's powered off then you will come down here and you will remove the old memory card so here's the old memory card again it's a 4 gig 
and then you'll pick up the new memory card, which is the 8 gig, and you'll insert it into your PS Vita. Apologize, guys, here. And then you will power back on your PS Vita. Now, while that's powering back on with the 8K card in there, I will just log back into my computer. Again, uh, remember, guys, it will uh, you know throw off your home screen setup. So if that's a deterrent for you, keep that in mind. And uh, again, remember to follow all the steps that I've instructed you to do if you're doing this for the first time. Then you'll notice that what it will do, it will say updating database. And that's is where it will basically throw your home screen out of whack to the setup that you maybe had before. You won't lose any of the information like your wallpapers and some stuff like that. You'll still have that. Uh, it will still maintain your, uh, it will actually get rid of your password. My apologies. You have to reset that uh, if you had one on there prior. So now you have the new memory card in here. Uh, what you'll do is you go into the content manager again and you will hit start. Once that's open, instead of hitting backup this time, we're going to go ahead and hit restore. And it will say, choose the backup file to restore from. It will obviously have to know that you've done it right, um, the date on which you did it. So in my case, I did it today, so you can see that date there. Um, and then you can just click that and then click next. And it will say, it was the same thing, it will close the applications. You'll say yes. And then it will say, um, do you want to restore, da da da, -da. So you can read all that fine print there, and then you'll just hit restore, and it will do the, I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to mess anything up. Um, and you'll hit restore, and it will go through the same process, about 17 minutes or so, to restore all the information. Once that's done, you'll be able to close that down. Uh, if you want to, you can power off the Vita and then power back on. Uh, again, it's a matter of preference. And then you can go into settings, and you'll hit start, and uh, you'll come over to system and then system information, and you'll see the, the size should automatically have changed. So uh, in this case, uh, in the last uh, 4 gig card, I had about uh, a gig, gig and a half or so on there that was used up on the 4 gig card. This is an 8 gig card, so you can see uh, 7,632. Uh, obviously, certain space is automatically allocated to the PS Vita, and you can see that it has already gone ahead and deducted some of the space. So again, if you notice that it's at, you know hasn't moved from 7,632, and it's staying at the, in the instance of an 8 gig card, then it hasn't put that information over and try the process again. But when you see that it's automatically deducted like that, 6,660 megabytes available, clearly it's put that information. And, you know, to run a test, for example, you can just open up a random game uh, and make sure that your saved data is there. Uh, don't erase or reformat the old card until you've verified all the information that you need is on the new PS Vita. Once you've done that, in my instance, I'm going to go ahead and format that card and put it aside for when, say, for example, I want to download certain titles or do certain things with this 4 gig card. That's specifically what I will use it for. Well, this is loading up, guys. Uh, that's pretty much how you're going to do it. Uh, transfer your information from one PS Vita card to another. Um, I just want to show you this and verify that you'll see that my save information is still here. Believe it or not, I haven't finished Uncharted yet. A lot of people are probably like, how have you not unfinished Uncharted? But, uh... I like to take my time with the game, especially games that are classics like these. But uh, you'll see it, it shows a continue save their file there. So again, this is how I will put the information in the description below. Remember to like and subscribe like usual. And this has been Daddy1424 with the Content Manager. All descriptions, information will be below. And like usual, peace, love.